Hi, uh, welcome to the channel. If it's the first time that uh, you've been here, welcome. Um, I just started doing more videos about what I'm doing when I play with motorbikes and stuff. And I thought I'd give you all a sneak preview of the next project. Not quite sure when it's gonna start, but uh, I've had this bike quite a few years, about 45 years, I think I've owned it, something like that. It doesn't look anything like it did when I bought it. Paid a grand total of 150 quid for it at the time, long time ago. And it's had uh, quite a few revamps. It's a bit of a trigger's broom for sure. And it's currently in sort of rocket gold star trim. It's, uh, it's an A7, 500 twin, 1959. And uh, yeah, I spent quite a bit of time on it two or three years ago now and uh, put it into what it looks like now. I uh, had a lot of trouble getting the uh, rev counter and everything hooked up. I had the little gearbox that you can see that, or rather the cover. I, I had the I had the timing cover with a taco counter hole in it for the gearbox, the little gold gearbox you can see down there, this one this one and I had that timing cover for a long long time and I never had the money to to make it work like look like it is now so I always wanted the twin clocks the rev counter and the speedo and they're both proper chronometric ones anyway I got it all back together I had to ended up having to get a new magneto because you can't have a rev counter on a automatic advance retard system because um, the rev counter actually interferes with the automatic advance retard. So you have to have manual advance retard in order to have that kind of taco gearbox on it. So I had a automatic advance retard K2F magneto on it, but I had to swap it for another one, put the magneto on. It worked for five minutes, didn't work, had to get it rewound. Uh, so anyway, yes, a lot of time to get to where it is now. And then I started riding it and it wasn't going very well at all. And it got very, very noisy, very clattery. So I'm not quite sure what it is. It, I, yeah, I'm really not sure. It could be just simple thing like something in the timing gears. It could be um, something gone with the camshaft. It could be tappets. It could be a broken spring. It could be all sorts of stuff. But I realized that the engine has not been touched in 40 odd years and I really thought it's probably time that and it didn't get ridden a lot I mean I think I've done like six seven thousand eight thousand miles on it in total in all that time so pretty much nothing um yeah I decided that I probably at the very least you know you probably know that they have a sludge trap in the in the there's a tube that goes through the the crankshaft and it has a sludge trap where it traps all of the muck and debris that's in the oil. There's no oil filter in it. Well, there's a simple oil filter in these things. And over the years, that sludge can build up in there. And I realized that I probably should clean it out because um, it's probably well overdue. So I don't really know what I'm going to find. Um, you see, I was splashed out on a engine stand so yeah i'm hoping to get this out i'm not sure if i will talk very much when i'm doing it uh space is at an absolute premium in here you can't see it in this shot but um i can barely get around the bike where it is without moving a load of, well there are other stuff I, I, I could move out of the way but try, it's peeing it down with rain at the minute so i probably won't so what i might just do is set the camera going and uh, struggle with it and see how far i can get but yeah, so this is what I'm going to be up to. Um, I haven't finished the other bike at all yet, of course, but this is kind of the next project. So I thought I would give you this as a sneak preview. I'll probably stop the video at this point. Um, and yeah, keep it short. But yeah, next one will be getting the engine out, putting it on and taking it apart and having a good old look. The only thing, the only way it could go differently is before I take the whole engine out i'll probably take the rocker box and head and barrels off and if i see anything obvious there that i can fix i might not take the rest of the engine out but having said that the sludge trap thing 
I really think it needs to be looked at after all this time. Um, it doesn't knock or anything like that, so I don't think... I think the the the, the uh, main bearings and the uh, big ends are all fine. They were all done when I, all those years ago when I did it, so I say only 5,000 miles since then, but a lot of years sitting, obviously not moving, and all that kind of stuff. And um, so, yeah, lovely bike, lovely, lovely bike, and... Uh, that's what I'm going to be working on next. So if you want to keep up with it, then, uh, yeah, if you're not already, then please subscribe. Uh, thanks to all the people that have subscribed so far to the channel. It's really appreciated. It's coming along nicely. I think we're up to nearly 400 subscribers, something like that, which is great for a startup channel. Um, but yeah, keep them coming. And uh, I hope you just just to let me know that you're enjoying them. And if, if you're, well, if you're not enjoying them, you'll obviously go away. But uh, yeah. So that's the next thing. Um, if you've been watching the other, if you've been watching the other videos on the Nordwest, etc., the Nordwest is uh, going for MOT tomorrow. So um, hopefully that will pass, and uh, I'll have, I might even get out to ride for a bit. Um, although, yeah, not great work with a ride rider. So we'll see. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Bye bye.